Welcome back to part two of the web show with me and the and they, sexy beast with some they? fucking stunning transmogs. Really with transmogs, mate. Yeah! Should we drama? Uh, let's drama. I need to move the chat. Ah! Woo! Now, what I want to do. Oh, it's logged out, man. I'm on it. Click on it. You do it. You know that awkward moment when you know you've typed your password wrong? Yeah. That just happened. Nice. Rescued it. <laughs> ghost to betrayer, ghost betrayer. Why am I trolling? Because you put shit music on while I'm out. No, I didn't. No, I oh! didn't, mate. The legendary cougar. I have a drama story for you. Ooh, beautiful, bright, shiny people out there in the internet super world. Mm. The Wait, legendary wait. cougar. Four pages, no less. Hey, double line spacing. We're good. Well, let me just. We're uh, good. I'm gonna make myself comfortable if that's all right. Can I do that? I'm just gonna make myself a little comfortable. Well, you put your feet up, sir. I can't. Have the mic's there. Don't think I didn't think about it because I did. <laughs> <sighs> hey, preacher. As you say, we all have our own stories to tell, and now the time has come for me to rip up old scars in my memory. And let out a stream of thoughts like urine, including old women who abuse the fact that they run around with the milk tanks on their belly. Boobs? Yeah. On your belly? Old boobs. Old boobs. Old, old, boobs. old boobs. Saggy ass boobs. And mind control young guys with their dirty, flirty game of life. Oh. Who's going to be our lady? Who's gonna be Who's our lady? Who's gonna be our lady? Should we pick a legit lady or just a random person? Ooh, everybody pretends to be a legit lady. Well, when there we is do a this. legit lady there. Oh, let's do it then. Ali. Oh, Ali's been in every story. We okay. won't be different someone else. Uh, let's have a look then. Who's oh, a legit wow. lady? <laughs> You're clutching at straws there, dude. <laughs> oh, no, no. We've got a lady, a lady ass. Who's got a ladyish name? Andy. Fuck you. <laughs> Sharami. Sharami. Share Amy. Share Amy? That sounds like a lady name. Share Amy. And I apologise if you're not a lady. <laughs> Share Amy. Share Amy. Yeah. Well, let me introduce myself. I'm a young man in my early 20s. Spend an awful lot of time in front of pewters. Pewters, man. Pewters. Pewters. I've been playing WoW since the late BC and gathered some experience through Wrath of the Lich King. No, you didn't. No. No. You thought you gathered experience, but you didn't. What you did was gather a whole bunch of bad experience. It's game on. As I started raiding heroic content in ICC, I started looking for a good 25 in my guild where I could feel at home. I raided with a few throughout Cataclysm, but they all died out due to <gasps> new games. Stop moving. Like acne. <laughs> but they all died out due to all the new games popping up like acne on an innocent teenage face. Nice. We Chapter jumped forward one. all the way to Dragon Soul before I found myself in one of the server's strongest 25-man guilds, where I found myself fitting perfect into their nice, balanced team. Like many guilds, we farmed heroic Dragon Soul on several characters, and we all started to know each other pretty well, as it was mostly the same 10 people who did alt raids on our alts. I loved the game in these months. I didn't mind it either. Yeah, okay. As this time passed, I made some pretty good in-game friendships. And as I was about to find out, it seemed like I had been targeted by one of the female raiders. With me noticing. He knew it was coming. He knew. Okay, I believe it. Drunk and Honest. Chapter 2. One night I came home after a few beers with my friends and decided to log into WoW. Best plan. Indeed. I do. Best plan. To see if I had missed anything happening while I was out. As I said, I was logging into WoW late at night and noticed that only the person online was a female raider called Sheremi. 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 Sheremi was a British lady in the late 40s. A bad relationship with a man she hated. But they lived together because of their economy and kids. Sheremi would often flee into Azeroth when she, the real world became too much to handle. I chatted a bit with Sheremi about how this night's alt raid had been, but she just told it like always, smooth and fun. 
We chatted a bit about a lot of everyday things. But as time passed and the sun was rising outside the window, I was finding myself in a bullet train of questions about my sex life and experience. She went in there. I'm tuned in. She went there. So, how many times do you have blowjob? Just dropping bombs. Just dropping bombs this Left, lady. right and centre. Normally, I would have done the typical man thing and dodged every question like the Matrix. But drunk as I was, I was taking it all to the face. Such a bad way to describe it. I took it all on the face and answered every question without thinking like the Hulk. Just one sec. That paragraph starts to finish win. <laughs> got the Matrix yeah. in there, got the Hulk, and he took it all over the face. Exactly. He took it all over the face. See the way I bend it? Dudes love that. Really? With their square-shaped penis? Have you not got one of those? No. Mine's like one of them blocks that kids play with. You've got a cubus. <laughs> a cubus. When I went to bed that morning, I got a new nickname that she was only using when she was alone with me. And I still was feel... Was it Victim? <laughs> oh, an in-game puppy love nickname. And I still feel sick when my friends mention it, mocking me today. Hashtag very pissed and smiley is what she called him. Very smiley. You're so very smiley. Get off me. You're very smiley. Me, You're a very smiley. G-kick! Weeks went by and Sheremi and I had more and more conversations where we mainly talked about her because, well, she already knew everything about me. She had stalked me on the good book. A solid use of a good book. A solid use of a good She Facebooked book. him and you didn't have it set to private. You dumb bastard. <laughs> you dumb bastard. Carry on. As time passed, our conversations turned out to hardcore flirting. She liked me because I was young and polite and I enjoyed the attention and the thought of cyber dating a MILF. And what it could lead to. Alright, alright, I'm interested. It's disgusting, man. I'm interested. It fucking is disgusting. Carry on. <laughs> Just carry on. Just go. Oh, Just go, man. Dude. It's getting sexy. Uh, chapter three. More than words. Don't just tease the cock. Gargle it. Go. Yup, you guessed it. We had a cross-country cyber relationship. I could never have guessed that. I'm serious. Don't read that next line. <laughs> with wet and hard nights on Skype. What's a wet night on Skype? No, you got you What is that? Dude, it's both of them. It, mo- it means ah! they're both sexually aroused. <laughs> oh no. Yes. What is a wet night on no, Skype? No, you got to read both of them. It doesn't make sense. Wet and hard. Yeah, because One's wet and one's hard, you That's see? That's fucking gross. Genius. That is gross. Genius is what that is. That's disgusting. That is really... That is rancid. I'm sporting a bar. Me being a typical guy didn't have any feelings... Oh, oh, oh damn! Oh. Okay, you can see where you're going to. You highlighted it. Where is it? Oh. There we go. Okay. Me being a typical guy didn't have any feelings in this. But it was totally high due to the fact that I had cyber sex the real MILF. Is that a victory to cyber sex somebody? Because it is. Because at this point, you do know that she's female, but you don't know what she looks like, so you're cybering the ball sack out of it. It's still cyber. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. You just jerked off. That's it. Nothing else. <laughs> Success. I'm done with it. I could check this off the list of things I wanted to do as a young man. You approve? All right. <laughs> and I would be able to think back on this with a smile when I became old. <laughs> that is <laughs> crazy. The fuck. thing is, though, when you look, oh, back, listen, I feel dirty. When you look back and smile, at this when you're old, she's probably dead. <laughs> Uh, you like that, don't you? That's gross. You man. like that, don't you? Uh, <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> At a funeral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cyber the shit out of it. <clears throat> Sheremi, on the other hand, was bringing up the idea of us moving together. And she would leave her husband and bring the kids. 
<laughs> Chapter four. I'm completely flaccid. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Chapter four. Stay away from me. My plan was simple. I wanted her to break the contact with me, but I didn't want to hurt her with a fuck off old granny. Does he even know what she looks? Oh, Skype call. He knows what the voice is like. Was there a cam involved? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that on your mind? Wait a minute, was well, that a cam? You can't, you can't commit to just banging the balls out of someone and not know what they look like. The days pass. And I Glory try... hole actually does work at times. Sorry, go on. <laughs> Good example is glory hole. Yeah. Is that where you went with that? Yeah. The days passed and I tried to start an argument with her, but she just laughed and thought I was cuter than ever. Pisser. That's what happens with all your old exes. You call them everything under the sun, they just think you're cute. Then you hit them and beat them rotten. Hey, treat them mean, keep them keen. <laughs> That's worked for me. Yeah. Day after day, the same scenario happened again and again. At last I had enough, and I lost my shit. Nice. Completely. The bad thing about this, though, is that I let it all out to her in guild chat. In public. Nice. This resulted in me being kicked from the guild. And go into uber rage mode. I logged on one of my other chars belonging to the opposite faction. And spent every waking hour the rest of the week ganking Shiremi. Until she refused to leave the city. Now that escalated quickly. Let's be honest, it did. That escalated quickly. It did. That went a little bit psycho. It sounds like you didn't really want to end this relationship. It sounds like you got told to fuck off. It sounds like your Skyping sex skills weren't as hard as you might think. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, why would you attack her? You know what I mean? It sounds like a bit of an overreaction. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, you know what you do? Do you know what you do? And it works in real life as well as E trying to pull birds. E birds. E, e birds. bitches. It works in real life as long. Uh, it, wor it works with real bitches and E bitches. If Valid. You know, if, you, if you're trying to push that boat out, you're trying to be a bit mean, but they're still like, ho oh, ho, you, just ignore them. What? Just blank them? Just fucking ignore them. <laughs> Don't reply to them. Do not speak to them. Just. But then they phone you from Russia. You know what you do? Just ignore them. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. After I cooled down and taken a few deep breaths, I noticed that I was free. No more dirty flirting, moving together with her kids and stuff. I had broken contact and reached my goal. Though it didn't happen the way I planned it. Chapter 5. Join the club, bro. A week later, I joined another guild. But in order to get a trial spot, I had to tell why I was kicked from my old guild. I drew a long sigh and started telling the story with juicy details. I was pretty choked when all of the officers began to laugh like I was a retard. The officers told me that this is not the first time this has happened. And Shiremi had offered her heart and her kids to no less than four guys in this guild. It sounds like one of them clubs where... <laughs> Lonely guys get together and call everybody a lesbian. <laughs> you with me? All girls are lesbians, guys. <laughs> We've all been there. They could all tell me similar stories. And add things like she was boosted through every tier since ICC and she received no less than five legendary staffs from Firelands on her main and alts. She's a player. All these motherfuckers got played. Just one sec. I'd, I really want to bring this up because we're not going to see this when it goes on YouTube. But for what this guy did when he was e-dating this bird on uh, Skype and then what he did after, the best terminology just came out of that chat. <laughs> a wank and gank. A <laughs> wank and gank. But they all got played, don't you see? Do you know what? I'm Finish the story first. She got five legendary fucking staffs, man. Finish. She used the kids to fuck them off. Finish it up. When she got what she wanted. Because her last lover boy was my old raid leader who stopped playing in the middle of Dragon Soul. We all had a laugh after comparing our stories, and we still have a topic on it in Private Guild Forum where we upload screenshots every time we gank Shiremi. Maybe I'm a jerk, or maybe I'm a normal guy. I just have to say that WoW brings many good and bad surprises every now and then. Okay, final thought. Oh, you've got a final thought? Yeah. Share it with the team. No. 
I'd like to expand upon the maybe I'm a jerk or maybe I'm a normal guy. Maybe you're a liar. Oh! Maybe you, sir, are a liar. Do you think he got abused and now he's bitter? I was... No, no, no. It sounds no, like no, 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 no. No? What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to break it down real simple for you. I think I'm going to believe the basis of this story. There was a chick who's, like, obviously old and, like, you had your fun with her, but then she wouldn't let go, so you basically just left to be. But when you went into another guild, that this had happened to five other members or four other members. Okay, coincidental. But then your guild also allowed every staff-wielding character of this woman to get a legendary staff as well. That's too coincidental. So what are you trying to say? I'm saying that this story is embellished as a motherfucker. I liked it. I liked the wank and gank. Wank and gank. Shake and bake, wank and gank. Shake and bake, wank and gank. I usually gank and wank. There was another one as well. Shit. <laughs> Smash and dash. Smash and dash. Well, thank you for your lovely story. I I, I'm glad you escaped before losing any legendary staffs. I'm glad you caught it free. I'd like to know if he actually saw what she looked like. If he's watching, he can email us. He can email us. Because he can if, email if he us. Because like, if he knew what she looked like, but oh, you bailed because she got too strong, you still could have, like, you could have... Hit that and legged it. Who won the Transmox? Thrun? Thrun, Thrun, yeah. Contact me on the forum for your prize. And whoever won last week, contact me as well. People aren't contacting me, whether they're not seeing it. I still have pets and stuff to give away. Well, that was awesome. Thank you. A nice quick one that I wanted to get out there. Let's talk about some stuff. What do you want to talk about? Let I me... want to talk about everything. What are you doing? Okay. I want to talk about everything. Who's I want to talk... Because Fudge Cannon thinks we're going to do some Transmox. Oh yeah, Top Boy wants a Facebook and we need a picture evidence of this girl. Oh, oh my. my god. Oh, we got a donation as well from Sean. Thank you, Sean. You keep us going, buddy. Thank you very much, buddy. You're a star. Thank you, Sean. Nice, mate. A lot of appreciation, a lot of focus like it. We went to see Iron Man 3. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but I think what we should do at the next web show afterwards is a bit of a spoiler conversation about it. Yeah, because it would have been out for three weeks by then. It would have been out for three weeks by then, and that's too long for us to wait. TBH. So we need to fucking talk about Iron Man 3. But we went to the midnight screening, which was cool. We got a free comic. I got this. Guardians of the Galaxy. So we went to the IMAX 3D. We got a poster, but I stole yours. Have you? Uh, did you wreck it? No. Oh, okay. So we, got, we went to the IMAX 3D midnight screening of Iron Man 3. We got a, a little comic book, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number one. Which I assume is worthless, right? Yeah, they wouldn't give out batch mass-produced comics. So is this just something. is this just been designed because there's a film coming out? No. Or was this out before the film was conceived? What's going on there? It's probably just a version of the Guardians of the Galaxy, which they've actually brought out. It's recent. It's not worth much, but just keep hold of it, man. It's still a number one, so maybe it is in, a, in time, but... I can't see it being... Well, let me have it then. It's actually from Murica. I want it. It's three dollars ninety nine. You said that I can have it now. No, I didn't. Bastard. Oh, I thought I legit thought that was gonna work. But we we had mixed views. But it's got a really high rating on IMDb. I know. Hasn't it? Interestingly, uh, yeah. Enough. I mean, uh, I told the first couple of people on the stream when I got back what I thought of it. But then after saying like, and it's no offense because obviously people join at different times. I got I got tired of trying to explain the same things about it. So I just said that yes, it was good. Overall, I thought it was a good film, but there are two big standout things for me. One of them cataclysmically big that I hated so bad and it was so detrimental to the story as well. The other thing was just a waste of possibly an insane scene. That's as much of the spoilers that I'm going to give. That is it. Outside of that, you can, let's put it this way, I'll, I'll do it in really small bullet form. John yeah. Farrow should have directed this. Okay. Although he's really fat now. He is really fat. John Farrow. <laughs> John Farrow is fat, packing fat, that timber. He man. is put on muscle mass. Yeah. He's put on some good mass. John Farrow in this film though is hilarious. Um, Robert Downey Jr. is so good in this film because you've got to remember as well the whole gimmick of um, does the man make the suit or does the suit make the man? This is lot. This is a lot more Tony Stark based than Iron Man based. And he just, he, he, the serious parts are awesome. He obviously is so funny, really, really witty. And it's a lot of fun. It's the little intricacies, though, as well. There are so many things packed in that film, which is a nod 
to story arcs of Iron Man. There's like, there's one, two, and it was in the trailer as well, so it's not a spoiler. There's a tip of the cap to Rescue, which is basically a suit of armor that Pepper Potts uses that Tony creates for her, which is called Rescue. There's a tip to that. But there's loads, in fact, we need to talk about it when the stream goes Yeah, out. we'll talk about the stream. I just want to say, we've got two more donations from Marty and Genberg. Marty, thank you. And Genberg, thank you very yeah. much. Marty, thank you. But um, overall, I have Can to say... Can we talk about the night? I don't want to spoil the film just yet. I know we want to talk... I know I'm desperate to talk I'm not about going to talk about the film. All I'm going to say, like, last closing point is, I loved it, but I was a touch disappointed. That's okay. That's it. That's okay. Go. I want to talk about the night. Because we haven't been out on a night out in ages, no. right? I mean, she's really stupid. But you guys know how it is. We don't see each other until the web show, pretty much. It sucks. There must be 8 million text messages between us during the week, which is retarded. Usually when we're taking a shit, which is weird it's and creepy. True, yeah. But I kind of like it. I take a it's shit. It's like synced shits. Yeah, exactly. I like taking a poop and then <laughs> going to text each other. Um, but we had some comedy fucking moments, which was just stupid. So we went to the store. We went to, went to we went to Walmart, right? Before this is we went so to, good. We went to Walmart before we <laughs> went to the cinema. So it started at midnight, but we had, and I've got to say, dude, you fucking came through with those tickets. They were how good were those seats, man? Our seats were ridiculous. Front row, center in the posh seats. Yeah. In the expensive gallery, front row, center. We were. It went literally. 21 and 22 were the exact two central seats. We had the best seats in the house, easily. And it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. So we were looking forward to it, so we didn't have to rush. Because for the dark night, it was first come, first serve. Yeah. So you literally had to turn up... What time did you go to the dark night rises to start queuing? 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m. It started at 5, and you spent 2.30 a.m. So we got to go really late. So we watched... I was watching Stargate. You did a stream... Yes. You did a stream, and I want to talk about that soon as well. And then um, we we chilled out, and then we left about 10.30? Just gone 10.30, yeah. 10.30, to get there for 12. So we drove in, and then we said, oh, we want to grab a couple of... Mo- <laughs> he doesn't drink Monster, because you, you've been healthy, right? But because he had a day off work the next day, this is genius. He come out with a bag. I went to the toilet in Walmart. I went to the toilet. I come out, and he's just got this plastic bag. Four cans of Monster inside it. I was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm not. I'm staying up. I'm streaming as soon as I get home." And I was like, "That's well hardcore, dude. Your head's gonna explode." So as we were walking out, there was it was really late. What night was it? Was it fr- th- Wednesday or Wednesday Thursday? night? It was a Wednesday night, and there was two. And you know, look, we're nerds, man. I am nerd as fuck. I've got bad hat hats, clown hats. I play games all day for a living. Okay. And make guides about games. I know so much about video games. I teach people about video games. That's really... that's I'm mega nerd, right? I watched Stargate before going watching Iron Man 3 Midnight Premiere. Nobody nerdier than me. I'm not saying Asda. I'm saying Walmart. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, there was two super nerds. You know with the... You know what I mean. We were sat down as we come out of the store. And, and we were talking. Just casually talking back and forwards. And as we walked past, I almost felt bad afterwards. But as we walked past, they were doing that. <laughs> that kind of really... You know, that, like nasally sort of... <laughs> that kind they of... did that as we walked past. Go on. And we instantly stopped talking. No communication. This is... And both of us went... <laughs> <laughs> but really loud. So but both of us at the same time, I felt really bad. I, I felt didn't... fucking terrible. I fucking... Dude, the comedy But it was genius. so funny. Yeah. Because we were like... <laughs> Both of us really fucking loud. It was absolutely the most tragic thing about it. We were laughing hysterically. It was it was, yeah, a Sheldon Cooper laugh and we heard it on the way past. And we just both walked out the store just going... <laughs> like this. And then fucking we felt so bad. After. I did. Anyway, walking out the store, I felt fucking terrible. I didn't. I did. I, I felt, felt righteous. Really I thought that was, that was the best subtle burn ever. Oh, God. I felt... I was just like... Afterwards, I was like... We started laughing hysterically. And then I was like, oh, no. But it was funny. Good it was one. really funny. And then by the time we got to the cinema, we had nightmare parking. But we got in there an hour early, and then we played the ultimate game. The man sport. The sport of sports. Foosball. Foosball. We took it to the fucking foosball table. And it was loads of nerds there. And I want to bring this up in a sec, but we played foosball. And what was the title we played for? Champion of the Universe. Champion of the Universe was up for grabs. And we had some great games of foosball. And we only play foosball because what the hell has happened to arcades? Oh my god. What I, the no, fuck I know has exactly happened to arcades? Mean. It seems like, do you know what it seems like? It seems like time has stopped when they released Time Crisis 3 or 4. 
Ever it since... had Time Crisis three. Yeah, that's right. That I mean. made me genuinely fucking sad. But that we I used still to know play everything. That I knew every when we were route. in secondary school. Yeah, at least over ten fucking years ago. What the fuck happened to our arcades? Because we had some money to spend there. I mean, yeah. I had put aside some money. We had a shit month on YouTube. I put around some money, and I was like, right, it's a night out. We haven't been out together in months. Mm. I'm gonna. I think I saved thirty pounds to go out and do this. And I thought, right. You've got the tickets, so I'll get the snacks, which was ridiculous, right? It was like 17 quid for two popcorns and two drinks. Fuck the cinema, man. But it was okay. I, I'd, I'd set aside this money to go and do Iron Man 3 and have a good night. So I was like, right, we'll play the arcade. We couldn't play fucking anything. Consoles wrecked it, do you think? No. You think? It's the accessibility of simplistic games these days that have wrecked the arcade because people don't have to get up and go to an arcade. They can get it on their phone. It was disgusting. Oh, I agree. Apps, I totally and, one agree. Of the, and one of the guns was broken as well. It was no, it's tragic. not that it weren't broken. It was the fact that Time Crisis stood out from the rest of the coin-up shooters in an arcade because it was for a free-roaming recoil gun. You're playing Time Crisis without the recoil. You're not playing Time Crisis. Oh, it made and I was just watching the guy play sad, it, and man. I just heard the plastic... But the recoil wasn't going, and I hate... I hate when I walk... Like in an arcade, there's another one like it, which uses the same Namco gun called Point Blank. When the, when, it, when the gun doesn't move, I hate it. Hate it. It was just disgusting. But I recently went to... Uh, we have a huge mall called the Trafford Centre. Yeah. And they have a Namco station. And it's an entire floor, pretty much. It must be about two, 300 square feet. Yeah. It's huge. And it's an arcade. And all it was was grabbing machines and... Fu- yeah, yeah, House of the is, Fucking man. Dead, man. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Oh, so tragic that we couldn't play... I mean, us could not play games. We ended up on foosball, which was great fun, though. We had a fucking blast. Um, which I... You know, I feel like a twat. But it reminded me of when we went to buy the Burning Crusade. Going to Iron Man 3. Because these friends and stuff there, right? You want to go and see these films with your friends. But every fifth person is like the real... Real lonely guy who's on his own. The guy in front of us. The guy yeah. in front of us, man. And I could have cried because... He was. He looked like a nice lad. He looked like you'd have been all right, but he was obviously so socially awkward, and nobody wanted to go with him to watch Iron Man, and it really makes me sad. Because I could go to the cinema on my own. I have no issue with that, and I've done that oh, in yeah, the past. Because there's films that you want to watch that I don't like, uh, that I want to watch that you don't like, and this also happens that like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. I love Pirates of the Caribbean, and nobody wants to go with me. So Emma doesn't want to go. You don't want to go. And plus, I generally try and fit something like that in during the day, especially in my old job, which I didn't like. So I would go and watch it and get paid. So, like, I go on my own. I have no problem with that. But uh, people are really embarrassed. I mean, are you embarrassed to do things on your own? Are you guys embarrassed to go and do things like that on your own? Because Emma finds it really weird. If I want, to, if I'm saying I'm going to the cinema today, it's like, who are you going with? Well, I'm not going with anybody. I'm just going to go watch on my own. And she's like, that's really sad. Well, like, oh, that's not really sad. I don't oh, have fuck. a fucking problem doing that. So I don't give a shit. But these people who look really genuinely embarrassed by it, and that, it really made me feel bad. It's like I wanted to make friends with him. It's like, hey, you okay? But you can't sit with us and shit like that. So, <laughs> look, oh. look, sad, sad, sad. Girls, man, we all fucking the donations are going crazy. Thank you so much, man. We had a shit month. This really helps us out. Um, I'm sure I can read these properly. Brian, Christian, Keely, Keely, you are a legend. Keely, Keely is. Why is that name ring a bell? Keely's the hot Canadian lady. Oh, the Brophy's map still not been repaired, has it? And Hakan. Dude, that map had a hot Canadian lady on it, and you took it down. It's, I've saved it. Believe me. Oh, for those of you asking about the Brofist and Brofist map, it ripped. Thank you, guys, really. And um, uh, It ripped because of the weight of the Brofists, unfortunately. And I've rescued it. I've rescued it. But it's. I don't want to put it back up yet because it's going to wreck. And I can't buy another one. Because like, the next one looks like $800. Um, One Kyle, you can talk again when you're not being a cunt in chat. <laughs> What's Kyle doing? You went to the cinema on your own. <laughs> that's sad. Hey, I don't mind. Some I people think that's sad. I I've just been, don't give a I've shit. I've been that many times on my own. It's just a case of if I want to see something at the cinema and no one wants to see it, I will go and fucking see that. Can I film. ask you this, though? What about going to a restaurant on your own? Would you do that? It depends. I tell you why. When I, In my old job, which, you know, I was on the road all the time. So when I was staying in various cities, so I'd be staying in London, Scotland, wherever... I was on my own. And the thing is, when you travel with work, and any of you guys who travel with work, I was so glad I don't do that anymore because I, I, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. 
is you stay in a hotel and you stay at work longer, which is fucked up. It's seriously fucked up because I didn't enjoy my job. My job was a good job, but I didn't like it. And you end up staying till like six, seven o'clock at night after traveling all day, purely so you don't have to go to the hotel. Yeah. Purely so you don't have to go to the hotel because when you go to the hotel, you can't do shit. And it really makes me sad because you can't do shit. You just sit in the hotel and it's like, okay, you not, you end up mentally spacing out your evening to like, okay, I'll come home and then I'll come to the hotel. I'll have a bath. And then at like eight, I'll go and eat. And then I'll come back and go to bed. And that's it. And you have to eat on your own. And it just fucking sucks, man. The whole eating out thing, if you're in a situation where you have to eat out, if you're on the road, you're out with work, whatever, then yes. But socially, personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't go to a restaurant if I was on my own. I wouldn't sit, I mean like the cinema, I could sit there and think, I really ought to watch this, I'm going to go and do it. I love it in a way, exactly. because I'm just on my own, because we're, we're good with films, I think. We have had friends who I won't go to the cinema with, because they talk a lot. Yeah. I mean, we would laugh, and maybe we drop an odd one-liner every now and again, but that's about it. We both appreciate the fact that we want to watch a film. And you've all got that friend who's there just for like, he wants to be out with mates and he's having a giggle and stuff. I fucking hate that. I paid to watch a film. I want to watch a film. Shut the fuck up. And so when the film comes on, we just watch the film. And mm. I really love that. And when I'm on my own, I love it even more because generally nobody wants to sit near me because, you know, you, you want to sit with your friends and everyone wants to leave a fucking space between them. Uh, so I get a big seat on my own. I have two empty seats either side of me usually, unless it's a crammed film. I love that, mate. I'll just watch the film and I'll come home and I'm fucking more yeah, than happy. I'm down with that. Uh, but yeah, eating in the cinema, fucking hell. I have that friend we call him a scumbag. Scott, don't be that guy. Yeah. And if you don't know that friend, you're that friend. Fucking totally. Cinema, I'm fine with going doing on my own. But a restaurant, I'd, I've, I've done it, but only with work. And I find that really awkward. And it's that period, because eating out is like a social experience. Exactly. So, I don't know. I have <laughs> never had learned what do you do between... Ordering your food and waiting for it to arrive. And you end up just on your phone. And you just sit there, like, browsing Reddit or reading fucking YouTube comments or something like that. I mean, that's what I used to do when I was trying to get videos out while I was still working the other job. I'd just sit and read comments. And that's it. That was my entire fucking... That was my entire game plan for the evening, which is fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. I really... Your girlfriend doesn't show up? Well, fuck her. I wouldn't go with her. Yeah, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. I hate eating out on my own. It's fucking tragic. Ganza, yes, I did drop that line, but I did it before the cinema. I hate people that try to guess what happens next. That happened to us in a recent movie. And I realised the ending really early. But I can't, I can't remember what fucking movie it was. But I watched The Raid, by the way. I still need you to You still see not seen it. Well, the only problem <clears> is Emma can't sleep, which is a fucking nightmare, right? Emma can't sleep because she's pregnant as shit now and she's really showing we're going to have a huge baby. She's actually lost weight. You know, actual weight weight, she's lost weight. So the doctors are like, you need to eat more. But her bump is fucking... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But it's cute, though, because it's like a little round bump. And she give, uh, she's got me trying to feel the baby moving now, because it moves all the time. Um, but she can't sleep, which means I can't sleep. So I've basically been relegated to the couch for Feet a long time. Man, don't you? Why? So no, sleep. What? Because he couldn't sleep. So anybody who can't sleep now thinks they're Iron Man. Why wouldn't you want to think you're Iron Man? I don't like... You just spoil that experience. No. So, <laughs> so basically, I've been coming on here and fucking watching um, Netflix or something till the middle of the goddamn night, like a retard. Just <laughs> It is till like three or four in the morning and trying to get some sleep. And it's the most annoying experience of my life. So what I ended up doing is watching Netflix and the raid is on there, but we wanted to leave it to me and you. But I was just there was nothing else for me to watch. Yeah. I, wa I watched the worst movies recently, like Planet Terror... Which is actually alright. I don't know if you've seen Planet Terror. It's actually okay. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Pandorum. I think I watched. I tried to watch Troll Hunter, But it's actually in a foreign language. I'm out. I'm what out. The Raid? That's in a foreign language. The Raid isn't really a story film. <laughs> the Raid isn't particularly a story film by any means. Uh, yeah. The fact that the Raid's in a different language don't mean shit particularly. No. Uh, it's in Swedish. Yeah, it was a sweet. I, I didn't think it was. If it, yeah, I was out. Oh, one sec. Wolf's Blood. I watched that. Guns. Hot nuns with big guns. I've never heard of that. Don't watch it. It's bobbins, but it's just the uh, the concept of it. There's a guy who's uh, got a massive dick called Tripod who just basically fucks everyone. Bones me. Yeah. What trailers did we see at Iron Man, which you're really into? Uh, just one sec. Major pain. What the? F what are you, Deepong? What are you, Deepong? I don't know what that means.
He's trying to say doing what's spelled it wrong. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, he's trying to be funny. Oh. Uh, Mage, what I'm going to do right now is silence you, but I'm going to insult you long enough for me to let you know that I'm going to kick you from the channel because you sound like you're being a cunt to everyone else. So now that you can't reply to that, you have been burned and trolled, you can now fuck off. See you later. See you, Major Payne. Go. GLaDOS is in... What's that film that's like Michael Bay's wet dream? Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. We're going to watch it. It looks terrible. I'm fucking watching it. Big robots smashing big dinosaurs. Yeah. I'm in. I'm but invested. Do you know, do you know what? And small, it's got GLaDOS in it. Yeah. The small fragment of a scene that wins it for me, and I brought it up when it was on the cinema, is when one of the robots is about to punch that fucking Oh, and the dragon, jets come out of his and arm. the fucking jets come out the back of his elbow like it's firing a fist right into his face. That I tickles my nuts. I mean, it's going to be terrible, but I'm going to watch it. And but. How did they get GLaDOS to do it? Well, the pre the preview we watched was definitely GLaDOS because I had not seen the preview before and the it came on and it was 100% GLaDOS. There was no doubt about it. It was fucking 100% GLaDOS. So mm. if they've changed it for the main film, I don't know. But it's definitely GLaDOS in the current trailer that's on um, that's on at the cinema. Yeah. And After Earth looks awesome too. Is that the Will Smith? Yeah. It looks good. I'm in with Will Smith. Will Smith. Well, I like Will Smith. I can't really name many bad Will Smith films. Wild Wild West. Good call. Fuck, man. That shatters my entire universe. I'm just that saying. That film is fucking terrible. I'm just saying. That is an awful movie. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man of Steel, though. God, it looks good. It does look good, doesn't it? Watching Iron Man 3 made me want to watch the Man of Steel even more. Yes. Yes. And, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah, you, you totally nailed it there. Watching the Man of Steel trailer after watching Iron Man 3, I was like, I gotta want to see Man of Steel right now. And I'm really... And we both brought up we're really worried about Wolverine now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the way Iron Man 3 works. Yeah. Hancock's a good film. I like Hancock for what it was. I thought it was pretty chill. Hancock was awesome. Yeah, I thought Hancock was a good movie. I'd give yeah. that. Main Black 3. Oh, yeah, shit. Nicolas Cage for Superman. Fuck you, Palato. Oblivion, I'm told, Oblivion is like Moon. I win. I fucking called that so long ago. What do you mean? It's like a solitude thing. No, the twist at the end of Moon. I've never seen Moon. What? Really? Sam Rockwell? It's really good. Is it? Yes. Talk about off camera, don't you? Tell me what you think and what. Well, what Moon's old as fuck, but yeah, okay, he's well, really in the Moon then. You can actually you can tell me because prediction. Oh, he's it's a he's a uh, basically he's on his own in this building and he's got to do a service for a certain amount of time uh, to collect this resource that they found on the Moon that fuels things on Earth. But he's actually a clone and he's he he starts uh, the clones degrade every ten years, so they say he's got a shift for ten years and. Basically, as the 10 years approaches, his, uh, his other one wakes up prematurely. Because basically what they do is they put him in a pod to say he's sent him to Earth, but it's actually a coffin. They just fuck him off, and then the new one gets reborn. So the new one, every clone thinks it's the same first year. But in fact, hundreds of years have passed, because they're all clones repeating and repeating and repeating. Um, I think Oblivion is something similar, where they're just... He's not quite... I, 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 had, I had a feeling it's very similar. Okay. Okay, but Moon is fucking crazy. You should watch it. And Sam Rockwell in it is it's like uh, it's almost like when um, Ryan Reynolds did Buried to try and do a I can act and not just be the goofy fucking mm. Jobsworth. Uh, you know like in Buried. I hated that film, but film's terrible, was but his performance was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the film was fucking awful. Buried was a terrible movie, but um he was his performance was really good. It's kind of the same thing for Sam Rockwell where he's not that goofy fuck up because he is in most of his films. Yeah. He's like a goofy twat. Uh, but in this, he's, he's, he's his serious role. It's good. On the same topic, uh, last week I watched... Uh, no, this week, sorry. I watched Seven Psychopaths. You said it wasn't as good as In Bruges. No, oh, oh. That, that's a given, man. That is a given. In Bruges is an awesome film. But Sam Rockwell uh, and Christopher Walken made that film, man. Is the, Wal the Walken's a the ledge. The Walken is just the Walken. The Walken is so good. It's hilarious. But Sam Rockwell... He's, there's a nice twist with him of his character but he's so good in that film he's always quirky and funny but then when he's because Colin Farrell's his best friend he keeps trying to please and help his best friend and stuff like that so he's like that and then when he's outside he's, he's a different character and stuff but he's really good in that film man. that's it's, fucking it's awesome. a good film we talk about games let's talk about games talk about games I got Bioshock Infinite sent to me by Joel. one of the subscribers Duracell uh, which screwed me up okay so we kind of need to talk about the fact that I didn't do any dailies this week uh, I took a week off from doing dailies to okay, yeah, yeah. to write and do the big projects. A lot of people don't realise how much of a pain in the ass the daily is. As much as that, it's like one of my favourite things to do because it's like at the end of the day, 
after I've been balls deep editing, because most of my job involves editing all the time. Filming stuff is actually really quick, uh, but editing is the hard part to make it work. So I, I have to kind of stop and restart again. So I ended up losing my evenings for the past like four months, I want to say. I was working till 10, 11. I have no problem with that. Uh, because being self-employed, if you're not always busy, you're kind of doing something wrong, right? Mm. So what I was doing is getting up really early, walking Ben, coming back, starting work, editing, replying to emails, blah, blah, blah. And then about three o'clock, I'd have to stop, walk Ben. But in the meantime, I'd have to prepare the daily before that, then come back and sort of get ready to do the daily, set up the live stream, start streaming about half past four, do the daily then start work again till like eight nine o'clock because i'd had this break in the day and i needed to claw the hours back so moving through i was just like i was pretty tired but fine but i had like big projects i had like the vanilla videos which was everybody fucking loved by the way i'm glad you really really enjoyed uh, oh, the good. first part of the vanilla video uh, there's a scene i need to film with you which is why the pvp one's been delayed um so it's gonna get views when you put the talent in your videos, my friend. Yeah, definitely, man. So the vanilla video was fucking went down really well. It got some. It's already on some like six hundred likes, which for me is really, really good. Uh, six hundred likes in just a couple of days. That was really good. So the second part, I hope you enjoy as well. I had to talk to a lot of rank fourteen players, which was really surprising. I started a Skype chat. I was like looking for. I needed some extra perspective because I never got rank fourteen. I got to rank eleven in vanilla. I think you ranked higher than me, though. Yes, I did. Yeah, I think you ranked higher than me. But I needed rank 14 guys who did the big grind. Who did the big fucking mission. So I contacted Drokthar. Who was, I think he got ranked 13. Genji was asleep, which is a crying shame. Because Genji was ranked 14. He got a Grand Marshal. Yeah, yeah, I think he was 14. I think he made it. Really? Genji's a no-life nerd. He made it. Um, Core, who we used to play with. Fabulous yeah. player. Really nice he guy. Good. He was ranked 14. Um, a couple of guys. I got Elfie from Method. It's a good story here that I didn't know. Elfie is the nicest guy in the fucking world, right? I used to He's from Wave the Warrior 1, PvP with him. You've known him a long time. I've known him a long time. Nicest, calmest, fairest raid you'll ever play with. He's a serious raider and an extremely good player. Uh, Apco in method. And so I, I whispered him because I knew that he had a mage called Pi Dun. Like Pi's done in the oven. He had a mage called Pi Dun. And I remember when I first played with Pi Dun... This, he said, oh, I'll log my mage. I was like, you've got a mage? I'd never seen him play anything other than a paladin. He was like, yeah, I've got a mage. Logs on. And he's a uh, high warlord, Pydon. I was like, you got rank 14? He was like, yeah. Getting rank 14 in vanilla was one of the hardest things ever to do. You had to play sort of 10, 18 hours a day, every single fucking day, so in order to get the amount of honor needed to be high warlord. And generally what you did is you got the high warlord st title for a week. Because there's no way you would continue to play those hours. Because then you collected the weapons, you got the title. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Elfie kept the High Warlord title from anywhere else in his server for six fucking weeks. That is insane. And I mean really insane. That He not only did it once, which most people did, to get it. And then be like, thank God I'm done. He kept it for six fucking weeks and denied so many more people from being High Warlord. Cunts! What a massive <laughs> cunt! That is absolutely baffling to me that he did that. And he was like, yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> he was like, yeah, well, yeah, it was all right. So it's like you grinded 18 hours a day, which is what they did. 18 hours a day for seven days a week. Yeah. Then you got High Warlord. Yeah. Then you did it continuously for six more weeks. Yeah. No problem at all. Wow. Mental, but I got all these rank 14 guys together and had a conversation with them and I was really sort of trying to get different perspectives on about vanilla But they all have the same perspective Exactly the same perspective, which I'm not gonna go into because the video comes out shortly But yeah, it was interesting to talk, go back to vanilla days, mm. especially to talk about South Shore versus Tyron Mill uh, Which is pre battlegrounds before battlegrounds and came into the game is what we were talking about there which is I don't think I even remember that. I don't think you played then. I don't think you played then. But before Battlegrounds, uh, the closest two graveyards in the world, pretty much, for Horde and Alliance was South Shore and Tyron Mill. So you just fight. There was a BG before a BG, mm. pretty much. Um, so Juro sent me Bioshock Infinite. So my whole plan for this week to do No Dailies was to write, write, and edit the big videos. So I managed to do three of the big videos. So I've got a little yeah. bank of those. And then um, write a lot of Way of the Warrior. But in the mid midtime... When I had been writing all day, um, my brain was kind of fried. So I was like, I'm going to stream a little bit. So I streamed Bioshock 2. 
So I finished it, I could stream it, I could chat to the stream, which is really what I wanted to do, I wanted to talk to the guys. So I was streaming, and streaming, streaming, streaming. And then Duro was like, oh, you know, in general the stream was like, hey, you're not playing Bioshock Infinite? I was like, no, it's tight month. I'm going to wait till the end of the month and then I'll probably pick up Bioshock Infinite. I'm really looking forward to playing it. He was like, oh, check your email. So he'd sent me Bioshock Infinite. He bought it for us. Yeah, which is incredible. Uh, but that f like, fucked up my entire week because I'd taken a week off dailies to not do anything like that. <laughs> and then uh, I was working on the Wednesday and we were going to see Iron Man. So I worked all morning and then it was looking at me on my Steam because instantly I downloaded it and redeemed the code and stuff. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to have a sleep this afternoon in order to make sure we're ready to go for Iron Man. Yeah. So I was good and awake. So I thought, right, I'll play uh, I'll play a little Bioshock Infinite. So I'll fire up the stream, obviously. People were like, you should play Bioshock Infinite. We want you to stream it. So I was like, I turned on the stream. I was like, hey, guys, I'm going to play some Bioshock Infinite. And then I'm going for a sleep. When you came on, because you were streaming Wednesday after me. Yeah. Because I Skyped, we Skyped each other to say, right, I'm coming off now. You join. And then I was going to have a rest. What a fucking game. I tell you what, I did. I re in the vanilla video, I pointed out how Half Life Two was one of the best intros to a game ever. I love the intro to Half Life Two, where you're just on the train. It's very simple, uh, but you. I love games that have the confidence to not throw you straight into something crazy. They have the confidence to take their time and say, "Our game is really good, so we're going to ease you into it real fucking yeah. nice." Like Half Life One's intro is what, like twenty minutes. Where you're on the train ride all the way down to Black Mesa, and then you've got to go and find uh, your suit, and there's all sorts of things going on. That is a confident game that knows it's good. We're going to ease you. And the into music it. when you put the suit on as well. Yeah, the music when you put the suit suit on, and you don't actually get into combat in Half Life One and Half Life Two for ages, really long time. Bioshock One and Two, not so much. You're in combat pretty much fucking straight away. Bioshock Infinite knew it was a fucking masterpiece, and it knew it was delicious looking. It is fucking glorious to look at. I felt bad that I don't have a subscribe button on Twitch so I could stream in 1080p. For those who can support it, I have to stream in 720. Uh, otherwise, it's either 360 or 1080. She's retar uh, retarded. Because I was like, dudes, wow. Because I, I could play it on ultra max settings on my PC and I was just like, Jesus Christ, this game is good. And most often than not, when I, I spent so long. Because people like to backseat game. Things like Bioshock Infinite, you know, they've just finished it. It's the new game on the block, that kind of thing. They're all like, you should go that way, you should go that way. I was like, dudes, don't say anything to me, or I just won't look at the tap chat. Simply put, don't backseat game this for me. And I just cruised around, took it easy, soaked it in. I took so long in the intro, I was just rolling around, playing all the mini games. Yeah. There's a fair going on, so you can do some fucking little duck hunting stuff and try all that out. I was doing it all. And it set me up perfectly for what was to be an absolutely amazing game. And it was one of those games that had a really complicated story and the ending didn't disappoint and they managed to tie everything up. Because there's nothing worse than an overcomplicated story that doesn't work at the end. Wow. It was fucking absolutely crazy. Yeah, the back I had to big thanks to you guys. Big fucking thanks to you guys. The backseat gaming was not too bad at all for Bioshock Infinite. But there's also there's some good regular guys in the chat when I stream randomly um, who were like, it's okay. And anybody came in trying to say, you should do this, you should do that. They were like, oh, calm down. He's going to find out later. Because even during the ending, so I finished it on the stream and the ending is about 30 minutes. A good 30 minutes. Wow. And it's not just a cutscene. You're involved in the ending and you have to take part. And it's kind of, some points like quick timing the ending, but it's just to keep you involved. Uh, people were coming in like asking me wow questions and stuff. And they're like, dude, Watching the end of the Bioshock Infinite, he ain't even seen the chat. But it was good because people were like, oh, cool. You know, it wasn't like, oh, ignorant fucker. But it was one of those games that sometimes you just had to be like, I'm watching this. I'm taking it in. Leave me alone for two minutes. It's one of those games. Not the best streaming game, I would say. Mm. Unless you were like completely ignoring it and you just wanted to get through the game to show it people. I liked taking my games. Yeah. Man. I, fucking, I was absolutely like that. So you guys did really, really fucking cool, uh, which was awesome. I'm not going to upload it to YouTube. I'm not going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, no, we're not, I'm not going to spoil the game for anybody. It's too new. I'm not going to spoil the game for anybody. Uh, but it was fucking wonderful. Night Reckless. Take it easy, buddy. You have a good night. Uh, yeah, the ending was so good. So good. A lot of people are comparing it to Inception. Really? Yes. Absolutely. And I totally agree with them. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. It's very rare a game which is, reaches new heights of interdimensional play and ties it up nicely. Not even some Star Trek episodes do that. But it definitely dips into that heavy sci-fi but 1912 wonderful setting the bioshock settings are always good you get in bed 
Can you say goodnight? Shout it. Did I not speak then? I don't think so. Okay. No. Hilarious. This is my life, man. This is Night. My, <laughs> this is my life. This is my fucking life. No, she's in there. She's got a teddy bear and she's ready to go to bed, which is pretty good. Uh, which is awesome. Yeah, the gameplay channel is going to go active soon enough. We're going we're to organize a day together. We need a day together, don't yeah. we? So, yeah. yeah. When we yeah. get when we get a day together, when we get a day together, we'll get there. We'll very much get there, uh, which is cool. Um, what are you playing? At the minute, I just breathed in really hard and there was a joke one sec. Nice. <coughs> Suck it in. I'm still on um, Defiance and League of Legends. Um, When's the League of Legends buzz going to be over? Please say it's going to be soon. No. Star Trek's out. I'll even be Spock. You fucking goddamn... Oh, wait a minute. You goddamn right you'll be Spock. Let's play it. It's what? a console-based game. It's an FPS. No, it's not. It's a TPS. Oh, is it? Oh, that's really put me off. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm pretty sure it's a TPS. Uh, but yeah. But uh, yeah. Way of the Warrior. We did the Battle of Black Rock. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. You were busy. Which is unfortunate. But we had uh, the Battle of Black Rock started badly because not many Alliance turned up, which was surprising considering the outnumbering amount of Alliance on Sylvanas. But I assume most people who follow the channel have gone to Horde. Mm. Uh, so I kind of should... I did suspect that might happen. Uh, but the Alliance were absolute gangsters because although they got hammered instantly, as soon as they ran into the mountain, they got absolutely hammered. We, we sort of communicated over the stream to not gank them, let them res, to create the scenes. And it was like, we're not trying to kill people. We're trying to make them something look good. It's like a Let's Play. Some people think a Let's Play is playing the game. It's not what it's about. It's about putting on a show. Anybody can play the game. It's like streaming. Anybody can stream. But you're supposed to stream and make it into your own thing. Um, so we let the Alliance res up, all the guys did, I was filming completely, I was on my mount, I was off my mount, we had other cameramen moving around, we've got some really good stuff that's been sent to me now, which is fucking cool. We had to keep them secret, I, I, I didn't show my screen either, so I had to keep the cameramen secret, uh, purely because people were trying to gank them, and people tried to gank me, and also, in fact, people were healing me, just keeping me alive, uh, but it fucking, it looks so good once people realise, we're not trying to kill people, we're trying to make it look like a war, which means there was infernals all over the fucking place. And WoW looks so good when you turn all the shit off, all the resolutions to high, and just have all the UI off, and are going like really slow. So I've got like the slow walk through the war. And these people running past me, and then a fucking infernal coming across these rounds, and Doom Guard, and fireballs, and uh, halos coming sweeping across the sky. So it looked fucking tremendous. So a huge thank you to you guys for that, which is fucking really cool. cool man. It was, it was super good. It was super fucking cool. Um, and yeah, nobody was nobody moaned or complained. Everyone just said thanks. It was fucking really good. So as a result, I was just going to follow on from the previous thing: is that the daily is changing till four p.m. Okay. The daily is changing till four p.m. from Monday. The daily is no longer at five; it's at four. But I'm going to be streaming every weekday evening after the daily for at least two hours. I'm going to add that into the streaming schedule. So oh. you're keeping Wednesday Thursdays. Yes. I'm going to be doing Monday Tuesday up until you stream Wednesday Thursday and Friday. I'll be streaming every evening. So that is every single evening uh, to get that done. We're building a surplus of cash, really, because Emma has to take maternity early, which kind of sucks. I uh, didn't pre-plan it. So we've got to do that. So I'm going to be streaming and putting in some extra hours. you to take maternity early? Um, it's, it's kind of a work thing with holidays. They changed the maternity policy. It's, it's a whole boring process. Yeah, they changed it on a uh, due to the economy. They changed how it works. They used to do various shit. Uh, but... Either way, it doesn't matter. She's uh, she's going off early, so we're getting ready for that. And also, we kind of need to mention this, is that I might be moving in like six weeks. Mm, but we yeah, we spoke about this. Yeah, we spoke about this. It's a little bit iffy-iffy, but I might be moving house in like six weeks. Maybe. I don't know what that's going to cause in disruption because it's happening really quickly and it wasn't expected. It's nothing bad, by the way. It's not like we have to give up this place. Um, but there's an opportunity arisen. Maybe. It's not in, It's not in stone yet, but we might have to move which is weird. It's weird. It's kind of just come up. So I don't know what's going to happen there. I can't really say why yet because it might not even be happening. Um, <laughs> yes, you can scream after me. I don't mind anybody streaming after me, Delo. Uh, it's just we're setting up a schedule. Streaming is hardcore. Um, but yeah, we just moved. We just moved. We moved to the back cave? No. <laughs> no, but we might have... Um, what's wrong with the back cave? I'm not getting a back cave. I'm not getting a back cave. 
We're not getting a back cave. We're not getting a back cave. Is there anything else that happened to you this week you want to bring up? Yeah. It, well, last night, basically, we talked about it before. And uh, like, when I stream on a Wednesday and a Thursday night, usually I, I try to be as animated as I can, but I try also to be quite quiet because I don't want to wake Susanna up. And God forbid I wake Ava up or else I will be in the shit. But uh, last night on Friday night, Ava was at her grandmother's, my mum's, and Suzanne was out. And I was so fucking animated from the get-go. And it was so much fun as well, just being loud and being a dick for like four hours before Suzanne came in. I I, I've said this a million times. is It doesn't bother me. Well, it doesn't upset me. But it bothers me how much I know you are restrained when you're streaming. That's the thing, though. And it's the environment, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, and I know that. And it's only... It's difficult, because when we do the web show, Emma's in bed now, so we're not over the top. Unless yeah. it's a drunken web show and we have to prepare, prepare her. But in general, we yeah. don't do anything crazy. And you don't get to be you, as far as I can tell, when you stream sometimes. Now, that's not saying it's a terrible thing, because the reasons for that are clear and understandable. I can't wait till we have an office. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? A place where it's like, fuck everything. We can do what we want here. Shut up. But we, you know, we do it from the house and stuff. But it does bother me that when I see you stream, I'm like, I know that is not how you are. Or you want to be, I should say. Mm. And Friday was like a noticeable difference. Although you did good. go into playing Bubble Bobble for two hours. Yeah, on and off. But I'll tell you what's funny about it as well. is I kept like, Nothing was funny about it. I didn't know. I did it. I always do it in work as well because I'm an idiot. When, I, when I'm playing uh, my songs on Spotify in work, even though I've got a, uh, my like my like ghost live stream playlist, which I updated from my um, songs that I've got on my iTunes at home, um, it's 13 hours long. But I'll just get to a point where a song will finish, another one will come on, I think, don't want to listen to it, don't, and I'll skip about nine tracks. So I'll think of a song, like a gimmicky song, that's off an old game or an old advert or something that I like, and you can guarantee there'll be a 10 hour loop of it on YouTube. So I'll just put it on. I just put it on for a laugh. So I put the bubble, bubble bubble theme on and I got through like, I think it was four hours, 25 minutes before I actually thought, okay, I'm going to take a five minute break from this now. But I was just like, da, 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 da. It's but anyway, um, I've done that with another song, which I'll bring up in a minute. But basically, um, we was doing it, yeah, and I put bubble bubble in the background for a while. And everyone, like, it was only, everyone in the chat was like, lol, this is such a catch tune, but Jack or Janotin in the chat was going ape shit. <laughs> He's like, dude, please turn it off. I said, okay then, Jack, I'll turn it off, mate. I'll turn it off. You know, you've asked so many times, you're obviously losing your shit. I will turn it off. So I stopped it and put a 10 hour loop of the epic sax guy. He's <laughs> <laughs> just going, did, 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 But I just been playing that phrase and I stopped. I thought, okay, I'll stop now. So I put a couple of normal songs on. And then when the song finished, I snuck Bubble Bowl back on the shit. It was, it was mint. But I had such a good time in the league the other night. I think it was because it was a Friday. A lot of people were just free. and we're like, Because um, a lot of people, like, they join the channel, obviously, to see it. It's, it's a WoW-based channel. You know, that's, that's where the majority of the people come. But more, like, a couple more people are coming in to see the league games or join in with the League of Legends games, with you, which is a good laugh. I mean, I will lose nine times out of ten purely because I don't care how bad I am at that game. I just have a fucking laugh. Um, and we played with a couple of uh, guys on it as well we were just talking about it and um, I got a couple of champions and skins gifted but I'll tell you one that was really funny is um, and thank you for those by the way I, swear, I think it was um, it was called Chinsey and uh, Horsey was in the chat I think that's Valen Gelding game well thank you for that but um, one of the guys that I play with well two of the guys that play together um, I set up a team and then they went for a cigarette I went for a drink um, and I, basically we do this thing where it's like it's the five of us on Skype versus five randoms which does end bad for us because we usually face like league champions and stuff like that but when I went away um, on the split teams we put like some high ranking people with brand new people who've never played who wanted to teach them the game and stuff like that I came back they'd switched the teams so that I was with like the lower end people and stuff like that and I was in the top part of the map which I can't play at the minute and I just started the game without thinking it, and I lost my shit. You go crazy. I didn't lose my. I didn't go crazy. I just went really, really quiet. And then it was like four in the morning or something ridiculous like that. So I finished the game, and I was seething that they switched the teams around. So I was like, I can't teach these guys how to like the basics of this game while I'm getting my ass handed to me at the same time and progress. So I was just like, but I didn't flip. So I just said, I just said. I went to the streamer, I said, right, thanks for tonight, guys, playing. I'm gonna go to bed now. Uh, you know, it's the web show tomorrow. About I cut the stream off. And then uh, all the guys in Skype were like, dude, are you okay? 
dude, dude, are you okay? We didn't mean, dude, dude. But I was just like, just if you are in the stream now, I'm not pissed off at all. You I'm are. not pissed off. You fucking fuming. I was just, I was just very fucking tired. But also as well as like I was, um, one of the guys, uh, I think it was Stefan. Like when you get a gift in the league, fireworks go off and stuff like that, and it shows a treasure chest appear on your screen and stuff. And I was sat there, I was just like, um, I thought I'll just do a quick bot game before bed, and then, and then a treasure chest came up with a skin that I want off um, one of the guys. He said, "I'm sorry about this, dude. I knew that you wanted this, so there you go." It's like you don't have to gift me things, dude, to say sorry. I'm not pissed off, you are but pissed it was off. such a good laugh, man. Some of them you win, <laughs> some of you. But I tell you what else is good as well, man. Which I'm trying to introduce people to the game. Is um I, what was he called now? I call him Sky. Was it Psycho? Schizo. Sk Schizo in the chat. He's never played it before, so he down. I think he plays US servers, or he might have just started on US servers. But he made a new client, got into the EU games, and we put him on our team. We put him on the opposing team. Well, we put him on the opposing team first on a top lane. Just and we said like, no, top lane's out of bounds now. Let him get a feel for the game. Blah blah. And he fucking enjoyed the shit out of it. And then when we stopped, he's carried on playing it on his own and stuff. Just. That quick because the lol community in general are arseholes. Big time. You get a small, nice group of people and it's so much fun to play. Why so do you think that is? Because it's a free game. There's no obligation to buy anything unless you want to. And it's just, it's drop in and drop out. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, Warcraft, you play with people who you are always local to. Even if they're not in your guild, you'll still recognize names, guilds, blah, blah, blah. In League of Legends, it's millions of people randomly put together. You can insult the balls out of them for an hour, and you'll never see them again. That's the why. That's why I think that, and with it being free, which is why it opens the game up to a lot of elitism, a lot of anonymous cursing and stuff like that. But yeah, he's actually enjoying it's the crap out again. Yeah. Exactly. He he loves he loves he loves the game now, which is really good to me. It's like because a lot of people will dodge it because they think you know they see it. it yeah, poop piece has nailed it. There, that's what I mean. But like. Um, like I was saying, like when um, we, you talked about it a while back, should we play this? And I no chance. The law streamed it, and I watched it thinking, how do you get off on playing this? And I thought, do you know what? I'm, I'm at a point in Warcraft, I think it was when we finished Raid one week. I'll try it for a weekend, and I've never looked back. I'm so glad that I've started to Sorry. play it. You're, also, your fame will end soon. It won't. I like it. I know. Your interest will end soon. No, it won't. It's very, there's no, new I'm champions. Playing well. There's yeah. new champions coming out like every month as well, which is why well, it's, it's endless. But just really quickly, I'm not going to go too much into it because I didn't do too much as well. I'm running, uh, well, I'm doing it on Defiance as well. I've carried on with the story. The two guys that I usually play with, they're playing uh, other games in the league at the time. So I thought, I'm just going to carry on with the story for a bit. It's really good, man. The, the only story? Problem, yeah. It like Star Wars? Extremely, no. Star Wars has <laughs> no. a better story. <laughs> is it like Star No. No. No, it's not. Star Wars is a better story. And the gameplay in Star Wars is better. I'm actually thinking, you know, of actually giving it another try. You can play a story again. Yeah. I wanted to do the Jedi campaign, um, but that's that's for a, that's for another. Once I'm done with Defiance, I think I'm going to replace it with Star Wars. I just want to see if things have changed. Well, I'm struggling with games right now. Is this is something we spoke about earlier? Is certain games are not only difficult but almost impossible to stream well, aren't they? And this is a fact. It's like Bioshock Infinite for me, any it's really difficult. If it's got a good story, I can't stream it. If it needs too much focus, I can't stream it. That's why I. That's why I'm so bad at streaming lol. Yeah, it's really difficult to do that because unless the only reason those people get really good uh, like views or good entertainment out of something like League of Legends is if it's a really high end game, uh, uh, you know. So it's the skill they're watching for, yeah. which we're not going to bring to the table no. with something like League of Legends. I'll make an entertaining shot of it, and it's really difficult to find games to stream. Like Bioshock Two, I was fine streaming because I'd already finished it. So I could play it with my eyes closed. I could probably stream Bioshock Infinite now and do a really much better show out of it mm. uh, because I know what's coming on. So we're doing a lot of other stuff like StarCraft 2. Some people mentioned StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm there. On my first playthrough, no way I'm streaming that. No way because it'd be boring as shit and you could just watch anybody play it. It wouldn't be like a preach and ghost show. It wouldn't be anything like that whatsoever. And it's, it's really hard to find games like that, which is why I'm looking forward to doing regular streaming. Yeah. I'm just really looking forward really to regular streaming. LOL is the easiest game ever. That's why a lot of people play it. Scatty, go and PvP in LOL. Tell me <laughs> if it's easy. You have no idea. No, you're supposed... That's the wrong answer. You're supposed to say play Dota 2. That's how it. you answer it. I've never played... Well, I played it Dota doesn't 2 matter. for an hour. It doesn't matter. That's what you say. Right, I think we should take a quick break and finish up with some Q&A. What are you fucking saying? Because I want to talk to this chat because we've got a really busy chat right here today. What time are we on, man? We're actually on 11. Should we go straight through? 
let's just go straight through. Let's do a couple of questions. All right, we got a donation from eleven. Simon as well earlier on. I'm sorry, Simon, I skipped that. We did get talking. Thank you very much, Simon. I just want to see, make sure I haven't missed anybody. If you play LOL oh, a thanks. lot, Scatty, then you know that you're wrong. There is no other, no other answer for that. There is no other answer than that. It's not an easy game because you can't call it an easy game. Do you know why? Because you're playing against people. You're not playing against a set UI. You're not a set, a set AI, sorry. Okay, everybody. You're playing against people. Skill level like this. Don't yeah, be silly. Thanks, Sam. Like, send a Q to Q&A. Yeah, enough caps, people. Q. <laughs> I love this. Sam Goo's in the chat. And he loves to be there. Let's take our Q&A before we finish up. We have been at a long show already. Three hours. Rocking and rolling. Where were you two mugs? Yeah, we said they were loads. I'm still looking at them. There's some issues I've had with it that I might redo it. So don't worry about that. Do you like Swifty? I like Swifty. Although, I, I had an idea for a video. I kind of want to run by you later. But yeah. we might get trolled hard for doing it. I don't know, but it'd be pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> it'd be pretty funny. Ex opinion on Exodus, leaving the world first race. They le they were never in the world first race. I'm not being mean, but they weren't. They might want to believe they were, but they weren't. You've never played SC2, have you, Ghost? No, I've not. But that doesn't mean that Lolly's easy, does it? Oh, no, it doesn't. Will you stop using logic? I know. <laughs> <laughs> World of Tanks. I actually want to try World of Tanks. Apparently, it's an amazing game. Is it free? Oh, enough caps, free. Scatter, man. You're starting to look like Scatter, a... Scatter, don't do another caps, man, because yeah, you are starting to bore like us on the chat. It's really boring. Lol is hard to so StarCraft 2. It's easy enough. Uh, Ghost, how's raiding going? Stark is still doing really well, man. I think they're still in the top 15 on the server. Yeah, they've climbed some really fucking good. ranks, those guys, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, haven't they climbed some fucking ranks? Well played, yeah. guys. Well played. Really I, in fact, I think the Council of Ballers US Field is doing really well now, too. Oh, really? I'm not sure if Firestar's here, but he's doing Man. really well. Hey, Jaffa File. Oh, I want to show you this. Okay, can you keep talking for a minute? I want to send you this tattoo. You are going to shit. Tattoo? Yeah. Is it Jaffa File's Marvel Sleeve? Yes. Seen it. Oh, how good is it, though? It's good. It's how really good is it? Good. Well played, Jaffa. So jealous of it. Well played. That's right, Scotty. That's right. <laughs> good dog. <laughs> <laughs> Team 3 got 2 out of 12 today. Mint, that's awesome news. Yeah, well played, man. Well played. Oh, Dead Island Riptide. We didn't really talk about that. There's a reason. Zero interest whatsoever. No, I don't think no, I've no. ever been as disappointed as Dead Island. Because we... I mean, it's kind of like Borderlands 2. I never got no. into Borderlands 2. I, I, I still wanted love it. to. I've I got it. it. I, yeah, well, I still love it, but it's just the fact that I've got so many games that I would commit time to more than Borderlands 2. Well, we got it to play co-op, and we just didn't give a shit. No. And I think that was coming off the back of Dead Island, because Dead Island, we ended up, I remember, because obviously we could play together here, and we were sat there and we were like, I just want to finish the story mm. now. I just want to get it finished. I'm like, really not fucking interested. Ghost always wondered, what does your wife think of your dress style of superhero t-shirts and caps? Well, I'll tell you straight up in one sentence, I wore this exact get-up the day that I met her. Bonky. She knew... What she was getting into. I didn't change my frame of what? mind, my attitude, my opinions, my dress sense. If you have to change dramatically for someone, then you're with the wrong person. Correct. She knows what she got into. That's why she I think did. I... Did I get that? Iron what? Man t-shirt. Yeah, Iron Man t-shirt yeah. from Florida. What, it was a lady one though, wasn't it? It's it was a, a ladies t-shirt with Iron Man on the front. It says, my boyfriend's muscles are made out of iron. Yeah, pro t-shirt. Pro fucking t-shirt. Pro fucking yeah, Dead Island. I was so disappointed, so I don't give a shit. That's a good idea, that for the next drinking game, dude. Oh, that's uh, Zoe. She's coming to see us this week, I think. Who's which one? Zogi Bear. Zogi Bear. That's Zoe. Yeah. Oh, I know who Zoe is. <laughs> He's a dirty that's a good bastard. idea, though. Let's get drunk and stream Surgeon Bastard. I think we should get her drunk and yes. stream Surgeon Bastard. Go the Surgeon Game's Saints Saints Row. Death, though. I've not played Saints Row. I watched a lot of Bed Bananas videos where they mess around in Saints Row with all the mods and stuff like that. Looks fun, but it looks very novelty. Uh, uh, Surgeon Simulator co op. Nah, it's been done. I, I, who's going to beat. I know what you guys are getting this from. Who's going to beat uh, Gavin and Michael's Rage Quit on that game? What? Uh, Surgeon Simulator. I won't quit. Have you seen how easy... Did, I did mean in terms of an entertaining video. They did it really well. What do you mean? Uh, you know what Rage Quit is? Rooster yeah, Teeth yeah, Rage yeah. Quit. Well, they did Rage Quit Surgeon Simulator. All right. It's 30 minutes long. It's fucking hilarious from start to finish. Is they it? did so well. Them two pulled it off really well. That's cool. I'm so, I mean, I don't plug other channels much, especially ones as big as Rooster Teeth. But season There's two... There's a reason why they're big. Well, they've got a great team. It's very easy. Once you get to that stage where you can recruit a lot of guys to do stuff, it gets into an easy, easy and easier way to do things. Yeah. Uh, but they're all very talented. There's no doubt about that. They all have their own niche and they're all very funny together.
But then, then two are doing the next season of Immersion. And now Immersion is one of my favourite Rooster Teeth shows. I do like Immersion. Immersion was one of the funniest things I ever thought they did. Because uh, I'm not a big fan of Red vs. Blue. Is it not going to be uh, Jeff and thing, you know? No, it's Michael and Gavin. The Rage Quit guy and the English guy. Yes. Not feeling it. Oh, they're really good. They are a great pairing. They I are don't absolutely feel, Do you know what? I think once they took Michael out of the Rage Quit, I didn't like it. I, I watched Achievement Hunter every week. Oh, I don't watch Achievement Hunter. It's terrible. I didn't mind it. Um, but then when they... I mean, it's no disrespect to Michael. I just preferred him in Rage Quit. But when he started to... He did a couple of episodes of presenting the Rage Quit. And the other one that I found entertaining was when Joel was messing around. Joel is a legend. Joel is so funny. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, the top fives are going to be more of a staple than anything else on my channel. Um, they really are. The current in inclination towards Emma giving birth and us having a child. This is what my schedule will look like. Is Saturday, Sunday, I will be making pretty much every video for the five normal videos a week. Monday to Friday, I'll be making the big video and doing something on Way of the Warrior 2. Then doing the dailies, then streaming at night. I've got a busy, busy, busy three, four months ahead of me. But it's going to be totally worthwhile uh, to make sure everything's good and to set us up good for the future. That's the plan. Uh, so, top five video every week. Every week. I don't, I don't reveal the day. Alright? Because sometimes it takes longer. If I want to film a clip with Andy, or we need to do something a little bit extra, then that can throw me out of whack. So, I don't set a day, but... One a week, I mean, that's what I'm going for. Yeah, These, the current ones are the vanilla series. I want to get that finished. So those, they're the equivalents. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is there will be a big video every week. What's getting new character models? Wow. Yeah, the vanilla ones. The vanilla what? Characters. What? That haven't been updated forever. You know, trolls, torrents. If you look at the animation of a panda, then look at the animation of a fucking troll. It needs doing. I, I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to write... down the line for that. And they're going to do wow, what? As if it? WoW's going to finish soon? Fucking hell. A game could survive on 400,000 subscribers, not just 10 million. WoW's around for Are they going to do, gonna do anything time. with Blood Elves? No, because they're new. Not only because they're new. But they're perfect. But they're perfect. Well, I think the same about Undead Males, so I assume you'll be able to choose back. <laughs> the next expansion beta? Ooh, I, I don't think I can. <laughs> it depends. They have a lot of NDAs on those kind of things. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Ghost, when you'll be next logging on for some tips on the new Wolverine Moggy. Oh, that sounds good. Um, it's probably still going to be Wednesday when I next log on for a bit of Transmog. I might actually log on for a bit tomorrow to um, to catch up with Rasty and the Stark guys if they're still on it. Well, if they're still on it. If Rasty's still on or if they're on it. I want to catch up. I've not spoken. There's been hey, so many new um, guys that have joined Stark at the minute that I've not actually met or anything. So I do need to log on and chat with those guys. So probably... Uh, for an hour or two tomorrow, I might even stream it, might even try and get some transmog out of it, if, time permitting, I get that time. <laughs> Reed, you have no idea how much work has evolved in the first four or five months. Well, I've still got to work, you know, so it'll have to fit in there somewhere. It'll have to fit in there somewhere. You submit your transmog down below. If you look below the stream, my friend, you'll see a link to the transmog straight there, so no worries about that. Ghost, what do you think of Threshing LOL? I prefer him as support, man. I, I know that Thresh AD is the new thing, but... Thresher's support where he's not actually openly trying to gank, where he's actually setting up people for the gank with his chain, with his ulti and stuff. I really prefer that play rather than AD. But uh, Thresh is one that I bought when he's full price and totally don't regret it. He's such a good support class. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's always, uh, yeah. Yeah, always email me. It takes a while for me to reply. Believe me, I get, it's, I get a lot of emails. I'm just going to say that. But you can email me at preach at preachgaming.com. Just email me there. I will get around to it. I tend to do them in blocks of about 60 or 70 emails at a time to try and keep clearing them. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I reply to emails every time I can. I really do. I got another donation from Dale. No. I love the name Dale. I really do. Do you remember Dale? Yeah, I remember Dale. I miss Dale. I like Dale. Dale was cool, man. Dale was cool, wasn't he? he Thank was you very cool. much, Dale. You really helped us out this month. That Let me get about eight really questions helpful, out believe me. of the uh, book. Uh... Schizo, I just bought Annie. Annie is an awesome mage to start with. Very simple to play. The nice stun and the passive. Really good character to start with, mate. Try if Schizo, if you're going to buy them, buy them for IP um, because you're not going to need it until you cap. Don't buy runes until you cap, but keep to the lower price ones because they are usually the recommended ones. And you've got a tank, a fighter, an assassin, a mage, a support, and it'll give you a feel for all of them. Have I tried Zack? Yes, I've tried Zack. I really don't like him. Once that novelty worn off, I didn't like it. 
Uh, Brola skin, yes, it's an awesome legendary skin. Thank you for ever got me that. It's so funny. The fact when you use your ulti, shut up, lol's awesome. Fucking sucks, man. Fuck you. The fact that like um, Jarvan and Garen shout Damasi when they charge him, but he shouts Bromasia. It's funny. I know. Yeah, it's hilarious. Shut up. I can't stop laughing. Uh, next. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Take it easy, XO. Be good, man. Next right, eco side. I'm gonna buy. Even though he's free this week, I'm really gonna try and buy Ramus because a I've played him together a few times. It's awesome, and his full metal Ramus skin is mint. So he sold to me by the skin. You got any more of these quick five minute answers? That was like four things that I answered when you wouldn't have finished your first one. Are you kidding me? No, go. Psh. Team Cross for life, but lol sucks. Thank you. <laughs> Baby is coming in September. Baby is telling me to be quiet. <laughs> hey, he likes it, man. He likes it. We're going to go to the next BlizzCon. The next BlizzCon. I can't go this BlizzCon because I'm due to have a baby the week of BlizzCon. But I didn't learn the Swifty trick on how to get tickets either, so I kind of goofed up there. Spoiler. What? You have to refresh the page. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm going to show you a video later. It's going to blow your mind. What are you talking about? This is going to help you get tickets for anything. What are you talking about? Trust me. I don't even, I don't understand what this conversation is. It was. You know, if you want tickets for something... Yeah. Well, there's a trick to get them. There's going to be a shit funny video. Nope. Yeah, serious. Super serious. <laughs> uh, anything else? Let's take another one. Another couple. Another couple before we go. Do you like Assassin's Creed? Yes, but I've not played the third one. I fell out of touch because I'm neglecting my console, but I love the story of the Assassin's Creed stories. Oh, do you know oh, Sapanchi spoiled it, noob. Do you know that Fastbender might be playing... Mike the Fastbender? Mike the Fastbender might be playing Altair in the Assassin's Creed movie. What a dick, see? Oh. You're such, you're such a, I've never fucking, liked any of the Assassin's Creed series. You're a fanatical jeb end. Open, broaden your fucking horizons. I have broadened my horizons. No, you don't. Oh, it's okay to not like something. No, it is. That's fine. It's no, okay no. to not like something. It's no. fine. You go. I'm going to silently insult you for every topic you do now. Can I come to the next place come with you? No. No, you can. No. Yes, you can. Do you guys like Diablo 3? Shoot yourself. No. Yes, <laughs> joking, no. I do. You fucking lying cunt. <laughs> I feel... You know who's a good streamer? King Congo. I don't know if you've ever seen him. No. But he's got such oh. a following of Diablo 3 that that's like all he can he's play. He's the guy who made a, a, um, like a, a diss video for that guy who got up and walked away, isn't he? King Congo. A lot of people did that. Like, Kriparian did that as well. Uh, I think you probably mean Kriparian. No, because that name rings a bell. That King Kong, and yeah, I think it's him. It sucks because he looks so bored. Who does? That King Kong. I saw you streaming, so I clicked on it, and uh, he was just playing Diablo 3. And he had like three, 4,000 views, so, you know, but that, they're there for Diablo 3, and he just looks so bored. Because it's the same game! Has anyone ever done uh, <laughs> he looks Nightmare so Mode bored. Ha um, Hardcore Nightmare Mode? Kidding me? They've done everything repeatedly. The characters can't even die. Okay. <sighs> oh, uh, Zillion OP. No, look at that. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, I think uh, Twitch press charges against him. It's pretty awesome. Good fucking prick. Yeah, what a fucking dirty what bastard. What a dickhead. <laughs> Updating the mage guides uh, next week. It's ranged week next week, so everything's coming in there, including the warlock stuff. I'll answer it there. I'll it there. Have you heard the Titan rumors? Nope. Well, I've read them all. Let's see anything. Were you making videos during BlizzCon about it? Uh, I don't know. People don't come to us for that kind of content. No. After Gamescom, I can't see us doing anything when we're out and about other than just for fun. Like, I'm pretty sure we've made the decision now that we are not the people people come to to look for events. Because although people, the guys, especially the guys who really, really enjoy what we do, love those videos. As a business decision, horrifically bad. I, if we ever go to any other events, it'll be for fun primarily and nothing to do with business and work and tr you know in, is going to make money i'm never planning to take us to any event in the future with the purpose of making money no way well we can still have a laugh like filming shit yeah we'll that. just go and have a Not laugh for the business yeah part. i mean we spent all day at gamescom setting up filming carrying everything not doing that again we made six dollars i didn't carry shit mate Steph oh you didn't carry shit well Steph and we carried shit yeah the talent carries shit the talent carries enough weight the hopes and dreams of the people that watch you. You see what's sad about that? I think those videos are really good. They are good. I thought those videos were really good, funny, everything that we would, people would expect from us being at an event. Yeah. I thought the videos were really good and nobody watched them. It really fucking upset me, to be honest, because yeah. it, not just because of how much it costs us to do that. No. 
Ghost, what do you think of Injustice? Dude, I'm buying Injustice when I get paid. I cannot buy it quick enough. I really, really, really want to fucking play that game. <laughs> so bad. So bad. So bad. Welcome to the Rift section. <laughs> do you remember when we went to the Star Wars Your Republic queue? <laughs> Only like six people playing. Right? Everybody with a Star Wars Your Republic subscription has arrived. <laughs> like eight six. people. And uh, we're here at the FIFA booth. <laughs> yeah. And that game, uh, Summit of Hearts. Yeah, it, it, like, guys here, you guys at live web shows watch them. Yeah. But... Yeah, they were. It was. It cost us six grand. That's all I'm gonna say. We made six dollars. Six thousand pounds, made six dollars. It was good though. You know the best part of it is. Well, not the best part. But one of the best parts is because it was like fucking twenty eight degrees or something outside. Yeah, it was hot. As fuck. And when we got back, it was still hot at night. And our room, uh, the window to the room, was two massive windows that opened fully. And my bed was near the window. So when we got back to the room and Stefan was asking around in the bathroom, I just opened the windows, opened the curtains. Poured a Jägermeister in a glass and just lay sideways on my bed right in the sun with a fucking Jäger for an hour. It's like, yeah. It was worth it to meet people because like quality. you look at the, the daily intro, those are all people we met there. I mean, it was it was amazing. That was amazing. And meeting yeah. Vinny. Vinny's such a fucking ledge, man. For, he, yeah. he gave up his everything to be to come and be with us. He drove us around. I mean, I mean that was weird for us. As well. It's the first time we've been out and met you guys, right? So we've got someone who we've never met who's just it's as equally as one of you guys in the chat who sends us an email saying, look, uh, I'm in Germany. I'm going to come to Gamescom. Do you mind if we meet up? I've got a car. We, I can drive you to and from the event. I can help you carry the gear, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, you, you got to imagine if someone did that to you, you're kind of like, uh, well, okay. So we said, yeah. And then we come up the escalator. We've arrived in Germany in Cologne. And we come up the fucking escalator, and there's a guy there with a big fucking brofist t-shirt, and, and he's got he's like that saying like, ball ballers, transport. baller transport, and he's just there with a sign saying baller transport, and we were like, me, walk over to him, gave him hugs, he brought gifts, because yeah. uh, he gave Emma some perfume, us and us, some sweet, us two a little bottle of Jägermeister, not big gifts, little bottles of Jägermeister, and some sweets, um, and then he talked to his car, and literally drove us to the hotel, we sat and had a beer with him on the front, um... That whole ex- that part of it was fucking glorious. Drove, wasn't it? Drove, we went to restaurants in the evening. We met some people. I remember we met a guy, uh, one of you guys, who was called Doomba, and I don't actually see him around anymore. So it's probably somebody who's come and gone. Maybe because of this. So we were in Gamescom, and this guy, this this guy came up to us, a young guy, uh, probably about 17, 18 and he come all the way from the UK on his own to Gamescom in Cologne to find us. And we were sat outside taking a break in the sun. I think we were having a beer. I think it was during the Method Raid, mm. uh, which we won't talk about. So they joined the fucking method raid. I was sat outside. This guy comes to me. He's like, "Preach, ghost, there you are." And he's like, "I, I, I flew, I flew over from the UK just to meet you guys. I've been looking for you for the last three days." Although we didn't make it extremely fucking clear that we were only there on Thursday and Friday, but he'd been there since whatever. And he's like, "So glad." And he was shaking as well, which was weird for us because it's just me and you. That right? was weird. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, "I'm so happy you're going to take pictures." Not like, yeah, bad weird, you're... by the way. No, not bad weird at all. We were like, weird for us to be in that situation. Well, every time we got a photo up, we were like as excited as anyone else. So we were taking the piss, man. We got brofist going on. We're fucking on the floor. We're giving it all this. But w- when they asked for a photo, we also said, "Like, can we take a photo?" Yeah, we well? took photos as well. Completely. It, yeah, fucking it was humbling. nothing like that at all. Uh, and he said, I'm on my own. I flew over from the UK. So we were like, dude, come to fucking dinner with us, man. And he's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, meet us at Cologne Tower, nine o'clock. We'll be there. Come to dinner with us. We'll take you out for dinner. We'll pay for it because you've come all the way from the UK to meet us. Meet us there. And remember, we stood in the stood Cologne. Stood us up, mate. Stood us up, man. He fucking stood us up. We stood in Cologne Square for about 35 fucking minutes. Bastard, right? <laughs> Bastard, and he's not there. And we, ah, ah, where is he? I mean, like, we didn't have his phone number or anything, but we was, it was, it's, that, it's Cologne Square, you can't miss it. And so, <laughs> where the fuck is he? So we ended up going for dinner, and he emailed us later on to say he went to the wrong square or something like that. Know. He contacted us saying he went to the wrong square or something. And uh, he said, I've waited for like an hour, and then we felt bad. I didn't feel bad. But we took pictures to prove it. Yeah, so we got our watches watch. out yeah, on the iPhones. We were taking photos to say, look, we were fucking there next to the tower. We were here waiting for you, man. Uh, but you never turned up. I don't know. But it, apparently you went to the wrong square. Let but me speed get through some of these questions. questions. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Hearthstone. No, we are not going to play Hearthstone. Are you going to play Hearthstone, actually? Yeah, I'm going to try it. It's free anyway. I'm not really. We've got a donation from Ben again. Same Ben. Are you crazy, Ben? I what? fucking love you, Ben. Um, Ghost, you know anything? Thank you, Ben. That really helps us, man. Really does. War glaives that is not tier six. Anything. If you have war glaives, you could just wear anything. Yeah. You have war glaives. 
I'm going to play Hearthstone, why not? I don't know. I used to work in Scotland all the time, pal. There's a couple more questions. I used to go to Scotland on an almost weekly basis. Uh, Assassin's Creed movie? Where did you hear about this? I can't remember. I'll, um, I'm going to stream after this, by the way. So if I can find that link before I stream, I will link it. But apparently it's rumoured that Michael Fassbender will be playing Altair slash Desmond. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let me go through some of these more questions. Not organising any meets yet. We, uh, especially while Emma's having the baby. As I just said, my schedule now involves me definitely working from 7 in the morning until late 8 or 9 at night. Probably longer if the stream goes on longer than that. I just don't have time right now. But after uh, next year, we'll be having PreachCon. It's going ahead. Yeah. Right now, I just need to make as much money as possible for when we have the baby. That is my main goal right now. Mission number one. Yeah. Uh, Overlord, yes, I will be trying Infinite Crisis, of course. It's another DC online game. Uh, I'm going to try and get into a beta of it so that I can try it before I actually before it comes out on the release in case I don't like it. Because I don't want to... I hate buying a game, especially an online game, because you feel like you've wasted it if you play it for a bit and you think... I, I, I only buy games now either with the intention of streaming them uh, so the games that are like are mildly not focused and can be enjoyed and you can read chat yeah. or games that I already know are good so like Bioshock Infinite was a no brainer because the buzz was everywhere the buzz was everywhere about it so it was pretty yeah. good um, yes I do play with randoms after the streams and when I do stream lol anyone who has League of Legends is welcome to come and play with us there is no restriction and nothing you can be the best or the worst whatever your skill sex we are shit so we are free kills come and play it man it's a good laugh yes um, Axe Gold Swagger yes Gold Swagger no I'm not doing an Amazon wish list now <laughs> uh, Gold Swagger yes Stark is a social guild mate it isn't a raiding guild they just have quite a few raid teams. Anyone who can join Stark can join Stark, if that makes sense. If you've got a character on EU Sylvanas Horde side, give Stark a whisper. You can more than welcome to join. Do I regret leaving my job so soon? Do you think you should have waited until you got a bit bigger? Not a day goes by that I don't love the fact that I left my job when I did. Bombs me. Nicely Absolutely. I've, I've gone through 12 months doing this job now. It was over 12 months ago when I left my old job to do this. We're still here, man. How do we send gifts when the baby arrives? Uh, I don't know. I actually think that was uh, it'd be an Emma decision more than mine. <laughs> Preach Ghost, do you have any thoughts of going to DreamHack? Um, I'd like to visit it. Again, if we go to any events, it'll purely for fun. Nothing more. Right now, we need. Uh, right now, it's not on the cards because that money can be spent better elsewhere. Simply as. Uh, RL videos. Maybe, but we tried filming some stuff, didn't we? Like the Iron Man 3 trip we wanted to film. And we tend to do things and not film them. Like we went out on that, uh, what did we do? Car what was it called? Cardiac Hill? Yeah, that was good. That yeah, it was really, that we was tend really to do really good things, but we're always sort of enjoying ourselves. We never we really... I don't like having a camera out all the time. Mm. Sometimes I just like to enjoy myself. I don't know. I know they, they, were, they were fun. Um... If it always feels like content for the sake of doing content. I also feel like I'm trying to perform when I'm in front of a camera. Um, which is fine. That's what we're supposed yeah. to be doing. But when I'm out, when we were out doing stuff, we just like to chill sometimes on the side of a hill and yeah. look over a crevice or something. I'm crazy. Do you want a giant answer this question with me? Go for it. What question is that? What is the rarest mount you guys have? The Swift Spectral Tiger. Uh, Ghost, what's the best? Warlock Transmog tier set. Full tier set. Is it called the Corruptor? Tier 5? Uh, yes Corruptor I, I love Corruptor I can't see and um, get the um, like we've seen tonight the weapon the weapon from Mount Hygel Archimond off Archimond yes, yes. Get that Tempest with of Chaos it's called Tempest of Chaos yes I am Andy I will I'll get there uh, are you guys related no we are not related no we are not related <laughs> no we are not relations no we are not relations alright two more two more you got your Swiss Petrol Tag on the first ever web show that was cool that was we almost got trolled that day I think we almost got trolled that day, which is pretty good. Oh, I remember because I was adamant that we were being trolled. Yeah, but the guy was... I kind of knew we weren't being trolled when it didn't work because I tried it before the web show to get them. And the guy was like, I'm really sorry, I'll work out what's wrong. And it wasn't like, ha, 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 I got you. He was like, I'm really fucking sorry. I'll fix it for you. And then yeah. he did. Da, 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 da. Okay, last two questions. Last two questions. Where is pet? I really don't care about pets. I do pet. care about pets. I want one. Well, the pet, the rare pets we have are giveaways for people who win the transmog competitions, and not for ghosties. I should. You've got a Swiss spectral tiger. You've had enough. That's nothing from you. <laughs> you give me shit. Yeah, you've always felt it so hard. Answer me this. So hard. Have you got a Murloc space marine? 
Uh, a Mercablo. No. I don't know. I, I haven't seen the list in a while. Maybe. I'm Dibs. using it for important stuff. Dibs. Preach, if you got hacked and lost all your characters and gear deleted and could not be returned, would you buy the game again and recap the chars? Uh, well, yeah, you're otherwise I can be out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're always under the security that you are going to get your shit back, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, that's just one of those scenarios that just wouldn't happen. There's no way that could happen. There's no way I could lose everything. It just wouldn't happen. Are you in a guild together? Yes! Ghosty, shall I buy Brolock myself? Dude... You should have bought it for yourself as opposed to me. But yes, man, it's so good. It's it's such a fucking good legendary skin. Yeah, Brighty, just follow us, man. And let us know if we're doing a good job or a bad job. That's the best way of supporting us, it really is. All right, let's go. Come on, let's call it. That's like the longest web show ever. It's getting on for like nearly four hours. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to call it there. Thank you for a great night. We'll be back in two weeks for another web show. I'll be back in 20 minutes, mate. Yeah, Ghosty's going to be streaming with you tonight. Remember, the daily has moved till 4pm, but I'll be streaming for at least a minimum of two hours every weekday immediately after the daily. So it's going to be all I'll good. I'll put it on uh, Facebook this weekend, well, tomorrow, uh, about the changes to the daily and shit like that. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great evening. And I will see you again on Monday at 4pm, live. And also these videos coming out mon uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on YouTube. Yes. All right, guys. Take it easy. The Peace donations out. always help. Believe us. Believe us. The donations always help. They do, mate. Always and I like how passionate you are about it as well. Well, it's... It's important. It really is. You are passionate. Just after You're a passionate man. You've <laughs> got a lot of love to give. Don't mock me when it's about people. I'm not money. mocking you. Don't I'm mock saying me. you've got a lot of love to give. Don't mock Shit. me. Shit. You know what? I can't even fucking be nice to him now. You can, I've never known it to happen, so there you go. 